Uh, it would be nice if you say your name and company, because uh, perhaps we don't know each other, all of us. Uh, Peter Johnson, Chairman Gavin Anderson, and also the Chairman of Thai. Uh, I would very much like to hear the panel comment on uh, clean tech. Uh, you clustered some of the industries uh, uh, in, in India, but I would like to hear the difference also uh, with Saudi Arabia and see uh, how, or in the Middle East you can stand that. So how about clean tech? It's hyping, it's, it's on all everybody's lips uh, today, but what's the actual status in, in these regions? Well, we have the advantage that in many cases we are starting many of these industries new and uh, our concept of starting something new is to start from where the others have already finished uh, and not to start from the beginning once again. So we are uh, uh, dealing in most of the industries, in virtually all the industries that are in Saudi Arabia at the moment with state-of-the-art technology in terms of environment and, and so forth. We believe that clean tech uh, industries are going to provide uh, important opportunities in the future. The environmental standards that are being applied in, in Saudi Arabia are uh, quite high in conformity with international standards, and therefore that provides opportunities for uh, many of the uh, clean tech industries to actually introduce their technologies. And the fact that you have such a relatively large market uh, in terms of the projects and, and the activities that are going on would obviously provide uh, an opportunity. If you, if you have uh, a new technology, for example, in the oil and gas field, and if you run it by Saudi Aramco, which is the largest oil company in the world, and if they take it, that virtually opens the door for you to almost any other oil company anywhere else in the world. certainly opens the door to the other oil companies in the region. Uh, but, but also any, anywhere else. So I think that that is the sort of thing that you would probably be able to, to uh, uh, see as, as you examine those, those opportunities. Uh, we are looking into uh, technology in renewable energy, in solar energy in particular, uh, uh, because we think that that is something that Saudi Arabia could uh, be a leader in in, in, in the future. Uh, technologies that relate to uh, uh, clean water uh, uh, are very important for us because water is so scarce, the production of water from uh, desalinated water is relatively expensive. That becomes water, that, that means that water treatment and uh, that sort of activity becomes also very important. So I think that there are significant opportunities for clean tech industries, both in energy, in water, in uh, other areas, to, to, to have uh, a field of activities that is hopefully very rewarding.